everybody. We are here at Skylight West for the 2012 Food and Drink Awards, and we are honoring the best of the best. We are here with the lady of the evening, Jordana Rothman, who's the food and drink editor. What's going on tonight? We're here at Skylight West just celebrating some of the brightest culinary talents in town. Um, so we're having an award show. How hard is it to select the winners? It is so difficult, and especially this year. I mean, just choosing 40 Reader's Choice nominees was an incredible, incredible challenge. I mean, there were so many worthy places that opened this year. And from there, you know, our readers vote, and that narrows it down to 10 winners. And from there, we really need to just choose 10 critics pick winners. And I can't tell you how difficult it is to just say these are the 20 places that really summed up the year in dining in New York City. It's very difficult. I am here with Chef Seamus Mullen. What award did you win tonight? I won Chef of the Year. Chef of the Year, that's huge. This is your first time winning that? It's my first time winning it, yes. So you've been around for a while. And this is for Tertulia. How's the restaurant doing? Uh, the restaurant's, you know, hanging in there. We're a pretty busy restaurant. We're doing very well, fortunately. What's the must-have dish on the menu? You know, I think if you come into the restaurant, you really have to try the cojonudo, which is a little bite of uh, fried quail egg with smoked pig's cheek on toast and pickled peppers. It's really good. We're here with one of the coolest restaurants in town, Red Farm. What did you win tonight? Best dim sum provocateur. You know, our, our chef, uh, Joe Wang, is a fantastic dim sum artist. He makes over a thousand different shaped dumplings, and he makes them in the shape of animals and people and you know, you probably heard that we have dumplings that look like Pac-Man and ghosts. So we like to have a little fun, and uh, we like things that taste delicious. We're here with Damon Wise. What award did you win tonight? We won for Watch the Throne Award. You were also up for Best New Restaurant? We were, because we Ken Friedman took it over, and we kind of revamped the whole thing, front and back of the house, uh, tried to get a new vibe in there, trying still, uh, and it's working. So. Right, so I was going to say, uh, Monkey Bar has been around for... 1936. Maybe almost, yeah, like almost yeah. a century. It's the best exactly. new restaurant. <laughs> and still people don't know where it is, so you have to come. 54th and Park. What food and drink award did you win tonight? It is a uh, Critics' Choice Award for the best love letter to the Philippines. So, Now, for people who aren't familiar with Filipino cuisine, tell me about it. Filipino food is a food that's been long kind of been in the cupboards of our families and kind of unknown to the food world. But it is a blend of our cultural history, Malaysian, Chinese, Spanish, American, and indigenous. So it's almost really the original fusion food. Congratulations, what food and drink award did you win tonight? We won the Instant Classic Award. And that is a critic's pick. So Time Out New York's editors thought that you guys were an instant classic. How does that feel? It feels amazing. Now tell me a little bit about Il Buco. Uh, it's Il Buco Alimentari in Venaria. Um, we're a market slash store where we make everything else from bread to salumi. So for those of us, like most of us, that can't get a reservation at the other Il Buco, can we have some of the same things on the menu here? I mean, yeah, it, it is it is a carrying on of the tradition that's been with Il Buco for 17 years. And we can shop while we're there. I mean, what more can you ask for? It's, it's kind of the whole package. I am here with Maxwell from Maison Premier. What food and drink award did you win tonight? Uh, best new cocktails. And that's really exciting. And you have an absinthe menu? We do, yeah. We have a, a, a fairly significantly large absinthe menu. Yeah. yeah. Now, this was a Reader's Choice Award, so Time Out New York readers voted for you. That's right, yeah. And it's kind of an amazing thing. We've worked very, very hard to get the public to be very interested in, in, in absinthe and sort of, you know, uh, how we feel about it. And I think it kind of speaks for itself here. Um, we're super excited. We are here with our friend Kevin from Frederick Wildman, and you have a whole bunch of booze that you brought to make sure that people have a good time tonight. What did you bring along? Yes, uh, we're happy to be here. Time Out's a great magazine. We're very big fans of it. Uh, having our spirits here, or booze, we're very excited about. Chartreuse, Illegal, uh, we're very excited to have them here. And obviously Edinburgh Gin, Pig's Nose, Sheep Dip, a lot of cool boutique spirits. Now I heard you guys are doing some underground stuff with Chartreuse. What's that all about? Chartreuse is the oldest liqueur in the world. If you ever heard the color Chartreuse, it's named after the spirit. So when you say underground, it's more or less bringing people back to basics. 
The salt and pepper mixology or bartending is really yellow and green chartreuse. And the monks knew what they were doing. That's a great story. There's three monks. Each one knows a third of the recipe. No one knows the whole recipe. For us, it's been a phenomenal experience just to tell the story. And after everything is done, all the money goes to Catholic Charities. So we know it's not about marketing, it's about quality, it's about the product. It's really interesting. We are here with our good friends, Rob and Laurel, from Stella Artois. You know, you get top tier quality restaurants, you want the top tier beer. So we bring it to the events. This is exactly the type of people that we want Stella Artois to be associated with. It's got the right crowd, the right style, and uh, the right look with the chefs these days, they're going into the food sampling and saying, hey, what pairs well with my food? And it could be a beer or it could be a great wine. I'm here with our friends from Frederick Wildman. What brings you out tonight? Um, we're here with Illegal Mezcal. Um, they're one of the featured uh, spirits for tonight. They've been a friend to us since we started the brand in New York. Um, they covered our story. The story behind it is Illegal Mezcal came to the States two years ago and John smuggled it from Guatemala to Mexico. So there's a really great story behind Illegal Mezcal, and I think Time Out New York has always um, recognized that. It is the end of another Food and Drink Award. So many of the who's who in the food and drink world were here tonight at our party. And if you want to check out more on where to go, head to timeoutnewyork.com. I'm Lauren Scala. Have a great night.